Hello and welcome to problem 16 in my Calculus 3 or Multivariable Calculus problem solving series. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to solve triple integrals over a region bounded by constants. So previously we learned about double integrals and how you can integrate over an area and find the volume underneath a surface. But today we're going to be looking at triple integrals, which is similar to double integrals except now you have a function of three variables. So what this means is that you're plugging in a point. So X comma Y comma Z can be any point and you're going to get a value. So for every point in three dimensions, there's going to be a value and we're going to be integrating instead of area volume over a volume. So we're going to have dv is a small piece of volume and b is our bounds on that volume. So let's go ahead and look at how to do it. So here we have the triple integral. And like I said before, dv is a small element of volume, an infinitely small piece, which is going to be dx dy times dz. And something that the triple integral can represent is mass because mass is you can think of it, we're integrating in a fourth dimension, and mass is one of those things that can be represented like this. And B, our bounds, in this video, are going to be constant. So we're going to be integrating over a box because our bounds are constant, and this will form a box in three dimensions. So A, comma B are bounds for X, C and D are for Y, and E and F are for Z. So the region which we're going to be integrating over is going to look something like this, where we have this box in three dimensions, and we're going to be integrating and finding the mass of this box. So something that the triple integral can represent is the mass. So if f of x comma y comma z represents the density at every point in space, then the triple integral can represent the mass of this object because density is mass over volume and in the in, in the triple integral when we take the density so f and we multiply it by a small volume that will give us a small mass so the density m over v times dv will give us a small mass so dm. And when we take the triple integral, we're going to add up all of these small masses, and that will give us the mass of the object. So let's go ahead and look at an example. We want to find the triple integral over b of 16x times y times z dx dy dz, where b is 2 comma 3 times 1 comma 2 times 0 comma 1. So we can set up our triple integral like this, and we can say that the bounds for x is 2 to 3, for y it's 1 to 2, and for z it's 0 to 1. And we have our function f of x comma y comma z in the middle. And then we just solve this like we did to the double integrals. We do the inside integral first, and this will give us 8x squared times yz. And we're evaluating this from 2 to 3. And then we get 8yz times 3 squared minus 2 squared, which gives us 40yz. And then we evaluate the second, the integral, which is still on the inside. And this gives us 20y squared times z from 1 to 2. And then we finally have one integral left over. And we get the integral from 0 to 1 of 60z dz, which gives us 30z squared from 0 to 1, or just 30. And this is going to be our final answer. So, so something that this final answer can represent is the mass on these bounds. So the, if the function f of x comma y comma z represents the density per unit of volume, 
then this can represent the mass of that region.